he must have thought that I was, I was out because he looked shocked. And that's when he took out a knife this big. Yikes. He pushed me into the chair with such a force, I, I still feel like I've been skiing. God, skiing, shit. And then he demanded to know where the jewel safe was, and I was not going to reveal that. Hey, now that is silly. Jewelry's not worth dying for. Unless it's really nice jewelry. Yours is really nice jewelry, isn't it? And that is exactly why I feigned passing out. Clever girl. Sorry, lady. Person. Go on. Well, I continued to monitor him through one eye. Classic half peep. Sounds like you played a blinder. Well, a peeper. Doesn't matter. Peepy blinders. Go on. Well, I stealthily observed him lowering swag through the window. And he, oh, I can barely bring myself to say it. He was, oh, it was monstrous. It was awful. Oh, God, what? He stood on the sofa. That cat. I leapt to my feet. You, I said, you may break into my home and rob my possessions, but you will not stand on that sofa in dirty shoes. He must have put the knife away and died of embarrassment. Oh, 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 oh. quite the reverse. A smirk crept across his dastardly lips. This is what I think about your chair, you crumpled hag, he said. And with one swift, awful movement, he did it. What, the rip? Well, as my grandson would say, I lost my shiz. You kicked him in the throat. I threw a cushion at him. Also good. So a heavy cushion? Well, he gave chase, following me to the foot of the stairs. But I have maintained senior Pilates, and am stronger than he had bargained for. We grappled, but he lost his footing. He grabbed at the shields, the clubs, anything on the wall. No respect for any one of them. Then the die was cast. I watched him tumble as if in a dream, his fall broken by his own head. Sheesh. The sound his neck made on impact will haunt me for life. It was like... Someone biting a crunchy. A mighty oak finally succumbing to the woodman's ass. Yeah, that's way better. Yeah. I ran down to find him gasping in lungfuls of air. He wasn't dead. I quickly arranged him into the recovery position. Someone was a brownie? I was a surgeon in the RAF. Yeah. I made him comfortable, but alas, with a sickening gurgle. He was gone. Well, I think it's pretty cool that you even tried to help him.